Hi, in iOS 18 and SF Symbol 6 Beta, there are new Universal Symbol Animation presets. These are Breathe, Rotate and Wiggle. In this video, we dive into each one of them using the SF Symbols app. Also, I will show you a practical example in Xcode so that you can include such animations in your apps. You can find the source code for this video from GitHub. Over here, you will see brief rotate wiggle.swift. You can grab this Swift file and try the example we will show in this video. Let's launch the SF Symbols app and start working. As I said in the beginning of this video, these three symbol animation presets are available in SF Symbol 6 and iOS 18. To see these animation presets in the SF Symbols app, you should download SF Symbol 6 beta. Let's begin with brief. You can see over here in the search, I have looked for a leaf. You can also use any of these symbols. So let's search for it again. Once you select the symbol here, we can then go to the animation panel in the right inspector. So here I can click preview. Using the brief preset, we have three options. Whole symbol, or you can select by layer. By selecting whole symbol, you increase and decrease the presence of the symbol. Whole symbol will scale the icon up and down. By layer will do the same thing as whole symbol, but it will scale the individual layers. The last option, which is my favorite, is pulses. With this one, we get a scale animation and also opacity animation. With by layer and pulses selected, we animate the individual layers of the symbol with scale and opacity independently. The brief animation is great if you need to create an animation that involves a status change or an activity taking place in your app. Next, we have rotate. With rotate, we can rotate the whole symbol or by layer. With by layer, you can see the layer at the middle remains static. We can also choose options such as clockwise or counterclockwise. So the rotation preset mimics how an object rotates in the real world. The last new animation preset is wiggle. Like the previous examples, we can wiggle the whole symbol or we can set it to by layer. That wiggles the individual layers of the symbol. You can also choose your preferred direction like default, localized and fixed. Let's leave it as fixed and set different directions like up, down, left, right, clockwise and counterclockwise. Also, we can specify an angle. Over here, we have zero, so we can put, for example, 45 degrees. So you can use this wiggle animation to animate direction or to emulate call to action in your app. You now know how these three animation presets work in the SF Symbols app. Let's move on to Xcode and show you a practical example. So here we have an example of the brief animation. We also have rotate and wiggle. Let's look at how to implement them in Xcode. First, we are going to define these three state variables, one for each animation preset, brief, rotate and wiggle. From the device preview, you can see we have a list containing three buttons, the brief button, then the rotate button, and also the wiggle button. So once we tap any of the buttons, we are going to trigger the animation. So what we need to do here is to bring each of the states to the corresponding button. Let's start with the brief button. So we bring the state variable and toggle its state once we tap the button. To add the brief animation preset, we are going to use the symbol effect modifier. Let's go back to the SF Symbols app. Then we change the animation preset to brief and preview again. Let's leave the settings as by layer and pauses so that we get opacity and scale animations. From the right, we can click on this button to copy the animation for Swift and Objective C. Let's select the Swift option. Then we go back to Xcode. So over here, we have the symbol. Below the symbol rendering mode, we are going to add the symbol effect modifier. Let's select the one with the parameter effect and value. For the effect, I have it copied in the clipboard from the SF Symbols app. So I'm going to paste it here. So you can see here, we have the settings from the SF Symbols app. So the animation preset is brief. 
then we have the setting pause and by layer with the value we are going to use the state variable we defined here so let's copy that and paste it here now anytime we tap the button we trigger our gentle brief animation consistent of scale and opacity Let's do the same thing for the other two animation presets, rotate and wiggle. Over here, I will bring the rotate state variable and toggle it. Then we move back to the SF symbols app to copy the animation preset. So I'll change this to rotate. We can leave it with this setting so that we rotate only the arrow and leave the middle layer static. So I'll click on this button again to copy the configuration for Swift. Then we move back to Xcode and add the symbol effect modifier so i'll paste the animation preset and change the value to rotate that is the state variable we defined here like the previous example we can now tap to rotate the icon lastly we do the same thing for the wiggle animation so we come to the button and add the wiggle state variable and toggle its state then we go to the sf symbols up again and change the preset to wiggle. We can leave it with this setting and copy the configuration for Swift. Then we add the symbol effect modifier and paste the configuration here. Then we change the value to wiggle. We can now tap the button to wiggle the symbol. So this is how you can use the new symbol animation presets in your app. Breathe, rotate and wiggle. These symbol animation presets are available in iOS 18 and SF Symbol 6 beta. Thanks for watching this video.